Has anyone seen my nozzle? <laughs> 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 3D printing a volume knob, connecting an Arduino to a rotary encoder, and flashing a code to the Arduino. That's in a nutshell what we're going to show you in this video. Let's start with what you probably understand the best, and that's 3D printing. We've prepared a few different designs, and we have ready to print G-codes and model files at prusaprinters.org. You just have to pick your favorite and print it. The circular dials are actually interchangeable and fit all of the volume knob bodies, so you can mix and match. Okay, next let's talk about how is the knob going to work. We could physically route the audio signal through the knob and use for example a potentiometer to adjust the volume, but that would unavoidably degrade the signal a bit. Instead, our volume knob will behave very much like a keyboard with media control keys. We're going to send keystrokes to the operating system, which will then forward the command to a running YouTube video or an app like Spotify. And because we're acting just like a keyboard, this works on all Windows, Mac and most Linux distributions. We need just two components, a rotary encoder and an Arduino Pro Micro. Actually, we're going to use two different Pro Micro boards, an original Arduino Pro Micro for prototyping and a smaller clone Pro Micro board that will fit inside the volume knob for the final product. The rotor encoder is the same component that's under your 3D printer's control knob. It spins indefinitely, which is awesome. No need to handle what happens when you reach the end. And it also clicks. When you press it, the rotor encoder behaves just like a button. This opens up a surprising amount of control because you can map different actions to single click, double click or long press. And the Arduino? If you've never used it before, don't worry. For a second, we're going to pretend that everyone watching this video has no experience with Arduino boards whatsoever. Arduino is an open source project responsible for a variety of single board microcontrollers. Think of them as small computers. These boards are equipped with analog and digital input and output pins, so you can interact with the world. There are many different types of Arduino boards. Big ones like the Arduino Uno, which are great for prototyping. Or really small ones like the Arduino Nano or Pro Micro. All Arduinos have basic keyboard emulation built in. However, for our application, there is a crucial difference between them. Unlike the Arduino Uno or Nano, which use USB to serial adapter, the Arduino Pro Micro supports USB directly thanks to the Atmega 32U4 microchip. This is really important. The media control keys won't work on Arduino Uno or Nano. This is nice. Plus, as the name suggests, the Pro Micro is really small and has a micro USB connector, so we'd want to use it anyway. Since we have only two components to connect to each other, the wiring is really simple. Connect the pins labeled ground to ground and plus to VCC. Then on the rotary encoder there are two pins that handle the rotation, usually labeled CLK and DT. Connect them to the analog inputs labeled A0 and A1. Lastly there's the button pin labeled SW, Connect it to the analog input A2. You can use these female to female jumper wires, which are ideal for prototyping. But once everything's working, consider soldering the cables directly to the board. Grab a new Arduino without the pins soldered to it. Then you can put cables through the tiny holes where the pins would normally be, which makes the soldering job way easier and the resulting size is also smaller. And you can keep the Pro Micro with the pins attached for prototyping of your next project. Now it's time to program the Arduino. Unlike, for example, 3D printer firmware, it's not common to share the pre-compiled code for an Arduino. Instead, we share the source code, so that anyone can make changes to the code or choose a different target board. To compile and upload the code, we need Arduino IDE, which is free software and the download link is in the video description. Once you download, install and open it, download the source code for the oversized knob. Then in Arduino IDE, choose File, Open and select the downloaded file. The code uses a custom library, HID Project. 
that has definitions of the media control keys and makes the code easier to understand. We'll have to import the library. In the top toolbar, select Tools, Manage Libraries. In the new window, type in HID-Project into the search bar. Click on the HID project by Nikohoot and select Install. Another library, actually two of them, is for reading the data from the rotor encoder. The first one is called Timer1 and you can install it exactly the same way as we just installed the HID project library. The last library we need is called Click Encoder and has to be installed manually, but it's still really easy. Download the Click Encoder library using the green button Clone or Download Zip. Then in Arduino IDE select Sketch, Include Library, Add .zip library and choose the file you just downloaded. Almost there! Now we just have to tell Arduino IDE which board we are using and to which USB slash serial port it should upload the code. Select Tools, Board and select the Arduino slash Genuino Micro. Connect your Arduino Pro Micro to your computer. Then select Tools, Board and here you should see COM1 and COM some number and in brackets Arduino slash Genuino Micro. Select the Arduino slash Genuino Micro. And now we're ready to hit the upload button. That's it! Once the upload finishes, you can test your volume knob. If rotating it changes the volume in the wrong direction, either switch the two cables that handle the rotation, that's clock and DT, or switch the line that says volume up to volume down and vice versa. Now just put everything inside the 3D printed enclosure and enjoy the convenient media control. The default behavior is single click for play pause and double click for skipping to the next song. So how do you like this project? Would you like to see more tutorials with Arduino? Also, most of you are still not subscribed. You should do something about it. Let us know in the comments if you have a cool idea for next project. And as always, happy printing!